Oh wow. Okay, give me a second. What's going on you guys? As you can tell, it's a pretty foggy one. Today I'm going to be trying out the Turtle Wax Jet Black to bring back the Skyline paint because uh, it's the original paint from 1991. So you can imagine it's pretty roughed out. Some scratches, uh, clear coat missing, stuff like that. It doesn't really bother me. But uh, I'm going to try and get back. This is supposed to get back all the micro scratches. It's supposed to take out. It's basically a paint tint. So I'm really stoked. I really hope it works as planned. I've heard good reviews about it already. Uh, I had a friend of mine who did this on his motorcycle and his car and he said it's amazing. So uh, we're going to start off giving the Skyline a wash. So I'm going to start with that. The car is pretty dirty right now. but. I'm trying to get you an idea of what I mean by scratches. That's not a scratch, it's probably just dirt right there, but... It's hard to tell when it's dirty. I'll grab the camera again. You can see that's those are a lot of scratches. So the roof's pretty bad too on this thing. The amount of scratches on there. That looks like an ice skating rink, Jesus. All right, how this stuff actually works, they supply you with two bottles of quick detail and between every step, so you start off with the pre-wax, step one, let it dry, take it off with the quick detailer. Uh, you gotta use the same rag, which I find really weird, but I'm gonna do what they say. Step two, you wipe it off again. They say on the back of the box to get the best result. Once you're done everything and you wipe off the actual black wax with the quick detailer to do it one more time over the whole car again. I mean, who doesn't want the best results? So I'm gonna be doing that. And uh, it says two to three hours, so I'll be the judge of that. So I just gotta finish doing step one and the results are actually pretty crazy it's a little streaky because it's very greasy but across the roof i don't know if you can tell on camera but as much as it bothered me i knew all the scratches pretty well and it came out absolutely pretty impressive for the first cup so now i'm on to step three and uh I'll come back when it's all done just coming out here to see results and this boy showed up <clears throat> all right so for the turtle wax review super stoked on how it came out holy crap it looks absolutely amazing. Pretty streaky because I got a little lazy, I won't lie. Three or to four hours of doing this, but it looks amazing. It's not the best day for the sun right now, but look at that, holy crap, look at that shine. I'm super stoked how it came out. I really thought this paint was way too far gone to save with that. Um, I was hoping it was gonna get better, but I did not expect it to get this good. This is actually 10 times better. 10 on 10, recommend, especially if your paint is not half as bad as mine. It's gonna come out looking brand new from the factory. Holy crap. All right, just finished vacuuming this guy up. Looking super nice with the new wax. All right, so sun's actually setting. It's about 7.30. There's actually a car meet down the street from my house. I got the Skyline, gonna get it loaded up some camping chairs. I'm actually convinced my dad to come out in his 68 Oldsmobile, which uh, I'll try and do a video on in the future. And uh, I'm gonna show some work being done on that car. But for now, I'm gonna get some clips of some local cars. And pretty stoked to have it just down the street from my house. The racetracks from here are hours away, so see what happens. All in ass M3 showing up. Dude, I like it. Fucking nut, Collins Parson. Pulsar. Collins Pulsar, I can't fucking say that. The ultimate winter beater. I'm out of my dad's car chilling. <laughs> Buddy Jordan. <laughs> What's up, dude? Uh, What's up, motherfucker? Uh, this motherfucker has a 2J in it. Absolutely nuts. For you American muscle junkies. Got some stock jobbies with the hoods open. Couple of FRSs. This guy, a ruthless Mustang. Hey, there's a little Furby on your camera. I know, it's my sock. I'm gonna put eye googly eyes in a mouth on it. Nah. Or just Google eyes on this. For uh, video evidence, record this very legal Type R PK9. Dude, it's so fucking sick. I'm so jealous. I don't need to buy a light for my camera too because you can't see shit. That Kia. Fuck, it's too dark. RX8 with a big wing. It's pretty dope. Another one pulled up. I think they set this up before they came. <laughs> they for sure set this up before they came. We to park up right in the middle of the meat like this too. <laughs> got the orange roll cage. <laughs> Full on gas, bro. It's so good. The wind. Jordan, push the button. No, he said when he starts, it's going to be slow as hell. I know it's no. slow, but it's sick. I'll fix it after. We have to start. Do you have a camera? I do. You want to be on it? Do it. Yeah. <laughs> do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so it's the next day. Uh, my camper died actually at the meet. A lot of awesome cars showed up. Really impressed for the amount of people who showed up for the first week of the meet. I don't know if I'm going to film any other ones. It's going to get a little repetitive. So unless like a really cool car shows up and I just so happen to have my camera on me. Hope you enjoyed what you're watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, remember, you're only human. I gotta stop staring at the screen and we'll stare more at the camera. <laughs>